Hello and welcome to Studio Lajo Cree. In our series of five minute presentations, Travel by Train in Japan, this is number three, Railways of Japan. I'm Larry Krieg and in the next five minutes we'll do a quick exploration of Japan's many railways. While most people think of bullet trains, known as Shinkansen, and rightly so since they were first developed in Japan, the essential thing about railways in Japan is that they are a seamless part of a well-connected transportation system. The long-distance backbone of this system is certainly the Shinkansen. It connects three of the four main islands and most of the major cities. From Tokyo in the center to Kumamoto at the far south end, the Shinkansen will get you 740 miles in about six hours, averaging 125 miles per hour, including stops. In the other direction from Tokyo, Hakodate on the northern island, Hokkaido, is 530 miles with the fastest trip taking 4 hours and a quarter, also 125 mph average. But what makes Japanese trains different from most others is the precision with which they are run. In the 50 years since the first bullet train ran, there have been no fatalities resulting from their operation. All trains in Japan run on time, which means within 60 seconds of schedule, except for very infrequent breakdowns and slowdowns caused by weather, earthquakes, or people getting in the way. This is the result of meticulous attention to detail in all the mechanical, operational, safety, and maintenance of way systems. So Shinkansen trains connect with express trains, which run to parts of the country distant from the high-speed lines. Urban trains, including subways and commuter trains, connect with each other, with express trains, bullet trains, and with buses. There are always taxis waiting at every station, and many of the isolated areas are connected by little one- and two-car trains meandering through scenic fields, forests, and mountains. But even the most isolated trains, running where deer and antelope play, are run with strict precision and attention to detail. Failure to maintain precise schedules on rural routes would have a small but noticeable impact on the entire transportation system, which would bring disgrace on those responsible. It helps to understand a bit about the history of Japanese railroads. When they first started building railroads in the late 1800s, the Japanese did so with technical assistance from Western railroaders. The first railway was an eight-mile line built in the Yokohama area in 1872, and within 20 years, each of the four main islands had at least a few miles of railway. The Tokaido Kansen, or main line connecting Tokyo with Osaka, the two largest cities of the nation, was completed in 1892. From the early days, railroads in Japan were built by the government and by private companies. The government generally built the long-distance lines, and private companies built trolleys and interurban lines serving cities and the surrounding regions. It was only 72 years later, in 1964, that the first high-speed rail line in the world opened. It was designed and built because the Tokaido Kansen was overcrowded with trains and passengers, even though most of it is four tracks wide. So, a completely new Kansen, in Japanese a Shin Kansen, was built, not exactly parallel to the old Kansen, but serving the same major cities between Tokyo and Osaka. The Shinkansen was a great success with travelers, but within 25 years, an increasing number of problems began plaguing the Japanese National Railway. It was decided to privatize the system, breaking it into seven corporate units. The split happened on April 1, 1987. The three smaller islands each had a company to run the lines on their lands. The smallest island is Shikoku, nestled in a gulf southwest of Honshu and north of Kyushu. Kyushu, the southernmost island, and Hokkaido, the northernmost, likewise have railway companies of their own. Honshu, being the largest and having the greatest number of people, was divided into east, central, and west sections with a company for each portion. 
Each of these six companies was deeded the tracks, equipment, and stations in their respective regions, along with the responsibility for maintaining everything and making enough money to stay afloat financially. The seventh company was given responsibility for freight. It has no mainline track and pays a fee for the use of tracks belonging to the passenger railways. These seven independent corporations are the Japan Rail Group, known by the initials JR. Though they are separate corporations, they cooperate in scheduling, ticketing, and in operating a limited number of through trains. Travelers don't need to pay much attention to which JR Group company is operating their train, as the system operates quite seamlessly, but there is real, though subtle, competition between them. That's JR, but that's by no means all. There are still many thriving private local and regional railways offering great service, often at a lower price than the JR system. Well, that's our quick overview of the Japanese railway system. Next in our five minute series, we'll be talking about the stations and the trains themselves. Hope you'll check it out. Thanks for watching.